If you saw this pitching line, what year would you think the game was played? 5 hits and 16 walks allowed in a complete game effort. Most people would probably guess the late 19th century or early to mid 20th century. After all, it was the norm back then for a pitcher to go the distance unless they got injured or were seriously struggling. But no, this game took place on July 1st, 1994 in Saitama, Japan, and the man on the mound was Hideo Nomo one year before he became an LA Dodger. The 90s certainly wasn't the era of bullpenning like we see today, but it was still well into the age of utilizing relievers to win ball games. Nomo retired in 2008, so there's still plenty of active players who competed against him. So how did Nomo walk 16 batters in a game, as modern as 1994? Well first let's see how Nomo got here. Nomo entered Nippon Professional Baseball in 1990. He participated in the 1988 Seoul Olympics and helped Japan to a silver medal. He was drafted by the Kintetsu Buffaloes in 1989 and debuted the following season at age 21. With his unorthodox tornado delivery and forkball as his main weapons, he went 18-8 with a 2.91 ERA with 287 strikeouts in 235 innings in his rookie year. At the time, it was the second highest single season strikeout rate in MPB history at 29.4%, and he won the Rookie of the Year Award, Sawamura Award, Pacific League MVP Award, and Triple Crown, all in his debut season. He only played in Japan for five years before making the jump to MLB, but that's all the time it took for him to establish himself as an all-time legend, as he struck out 1,204 batters in 1,051.1 innings with a 3.15 ERA, 24.3 wins above replacement, 10.31 Ks per nine, 80 complete games, and 13 shutouts. He led the league in wins and strikeouts in each year from 1990 to 1993. Going into the July 1st, 1994 start, Nomo was 6-6 six six with a 3.72 ERA, and he was going up against a Cebu Lions lineup that was reaching the end of its dynasty but still sported the second best offense in the league right behind Nomo's Buffaloes. In the first inning, after putting runners on second and third, Nomo walked three consecutive batters in Kazuhiro Kiyohara, Mike Pagliarulo, and Hiromichi Ishige to walk in two runs right out the gates. He continued to walk batters all throughout the game, including two in the second inning, three in the seventh inning, and three in the ninth inning to walk in yet another run. But his team scored eight runs and Nomo finished the job tossing the complete game to pick up his 7th win of the year and lowering his ERA to 3.65. It's really pretty amazing that his manager Keishi Suzuki stuck with him because he finished the night with 191 total pitches, including 105 balls. So 55% of the pitches Nomo threw were balls, and he gave up 16 free bases. After the game, Nomo admitted his outing was unconvincing to say the least, and that he only won off his team's run support. Meanwhile, manager Suzuki said it was a unique effort that only Nomo could pull off. But perhaps leaving him in for 191 pitches wasn't the best idea because Nomo injured his shoulder just two weeks later and ended up missing the rest of the season. While this one game itself can't be blamed for the injury, it certainly didn't help his arm. The 16 walks are the most by any pitcher in MPB history. The record obviously still stands to this day and will never be broken. The previous record was 14 walks by Hiroki Komatsu in 1942, and the previous record for most walks in a winning decision was 13 by Taju Hitokoto in 1946. The term effectively wild is often used to describe a pitcher that lacks so much control that it works to their advantage, but perhaps Nomo's performance here was a bit too wild. But then again, he only allowed 3 runs despite averaging 2.33 runners an inning. The game ended up being Nomo's third to last start ever in Japan. Nomo was very adamant about his coaches not tinkering with his delivery in any way, but when Keishi Suzuki took over as Buffalo's manager in 1993, he began to clash with Nomo on changing his pitching motions. 
Now, Suzuki did have over 300 wins and 3,000 strikeouts as a Buffaloes pitcher from 1966 to 1985, so maybe he knew what he was talking about. But the young Nomo was unfazed by his manager's accolades and still insisted on keeping his iconic tornado delivery. Tensions between Nomo and the Buffalo staff culminated after the 1994 season when they couldn't come to an agreement on a contract extension. Kintetsu wasn't willing to pay Nomo what he wanted over injury concerns. But at the time, MPB had a clause that prevented Nomo from negotiating with any team other than his own. The implication being, take it or leave it, re-sign with the Buffaloes, or retire from baseball. But the rule didn't restrict Nomo from going overseas, so that's exactly what he did. Nomo took a huge risk and salary reduction to sign a minor league deal with the Los Angeles Dodgers. He went on to win the Rookie of the Year award and strikeout crown in 1995 and became a role model for Japanese players to go to Major League Baseball forever. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more MPB content in English.